Hello everyone, this is Pastor Mark from Grace Church here and today I'd like to talk about the way you can help people who are in need. Have you ever helped somebody? What did you do to help? You might like to talk about that later. Now an example of this might be that you're walking along and you see somebody who's riding their push bike and they fall off. If it's your friend, of course, you'd go up to them straight away and say, what can I do to help? But what would you do if it was somebody you didn't know? You might then call for dad or mum or another responsible adult and they can go to the person and see what they can do to help. But even then, they might not be able to help. Maybe that person has broken their leg. And then we need to call the ambulance and the paramedics with their special skills can help those persons in their need. Has there ever been a time where you help someone and has there been a time where you like to help but you didn't know what to do? Right now here in Australia we're seeing lots of people affected by really bad flooding and we also know lots of other things are happening in the world and we wonder, well, what can I do to help? We see the SES with their boats rescue people and we think that's really great and the air rescue helicopter save people and we think that's really wonderful. But we also see people who are being upset, being comforted by others. And that reminds us we can help others by reminding them that we love and care for them. You can help somebody you know going through a difficult time by reminding them that you love and care for them. But the Bible says there are some other ways we can help people in need and one of them is by giving, maybe giving money. You could give perhaps to the Red Cross or the Salvation Army or World Vision or Lutheran World Service and our church has disaster funds. It's helped lots of people over the years as well. And you might like to talk about that later, maybe a way you can give and help people in need. But the Bible reminds us of another way we can help people, and that is to pray for them. Now, some people think, well, how does prayer help people? But we know prayer helps because it helped Jesus. A long time ago, before Jesus began his ministry of teaching God's word to help people in their lives and healing the sick and feeding the hungry, before Jesus did this, he spent 40 days and 40 nights in the desert going without food and spending time in prayer with his heavenly father. Now, why did Jesus do this? Well, after the 40 days and 40 nights without food, you know Jesus would have been really hungry. And then something really interesting happened. The devil came to Jesus and said to Jesus, well, since you're God's son and you help make everything, you know, you've got this incredible power. You can turn stone into bread. But Jesus said, we don't live by bread alone, but by God's word. In other words, we are to trust God in everything. And the devil then said, well, you're meant to be the ruler of everything. And I can help you become ruler of everything if you bow down and worship me. But Jesus said, worship the Lord your God. He is the only one you should serve. Jesus came as a different sort of king to show us the way we are to trust God in everything. The devil then thought, well, Jesus, if we are to trust God in everything, he took him to Jesus to the top of the temple and said, if you jump off, God will send his angels to take care of you. But Jesus says, we're not to put God to the test. In other words, we are to trust God in everything. And prayer helps people because it reminds us we can trust God in everything. And Jesus demonstrated this and, and he lived this by afterwards going and feeding the hungry and healing the sick and teaching God's word, but also dying on the cross and rising from the dead. You know, God helps us in our needs. Jesus has given us a special gift of life. You can help people in need by reminding them that they are loved and cared for, by giving to help them in their needs, but also by praying and remembering that God takes care of us. So let's praise God that he helps us in Jesus and let's pray that we could find the right way to help others as well too. So let's fold our hands and close our eyes as we pray. Dear Jesus, 
Thank you for being willing to go through suffering and death to show us God's love. Thank you for helping us in every need. Help us to see how we can help others by reminding them of your love and helping them in their needs. Amen. And we can thank God for others who help us. We can thank God for Jesus who loves us. And we can thank God we can help others in their need. Amen.